Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna do a little bit more of a fun, kind of out of the ordinary video, and especially for this channel because usually we're building stuff. Today, we are gonna be talking about tools, but we're not gonna be building anything. We're gonna be tearing something down. This tree behind me has been dying for the last couple of years. It needs to come down. And I thought, you know what? I've been using the Milwaukee and DeWalt battery powered chainsaws for a couple of years now. Let's see, cause I've never done this, how many batteries will we actually use to, uh, Take that tree down, process it, and get it to the burn pile. So even though these are battery powered chainsaws, they still need oil just like a regular chainsaw. Literally the only difference is that they're running off of battery power, not gas. And the nice thing is these have been sitting on my shelf for probably six months. It's been, you know, it's spring right now, so we just went through winter. I don't have to worry about fuel in these. I don't have to worry about getting them to start or, you know, pulling a freaking pole starter maybe 20 times before it kicks over, priming some fuel. Literally, we're gonna put oil in these things, a battery, and I should be able to pull the trigger and start cutting. I am guessing there's no safer way to do this than out of this boom lift. I'm on the wrong side for wind. The wind's coming right at me. There, there's not gonna be an easier way to do this. This is just gonna be satisfying. You should be able to hear the power of this saw. It doesn't lack anything. I'm running a nine amp hour battery and I've got a 16 inch bar on both of these saws. This ain't a sponsored video, okay? Nobody's paying me to do this. Uh, I'm just doing this for the heck of it. Better get a nice little undercut. Holy crap. So I've been using the DeWalt here a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know the exact features of this thing other than it's got a 16 inch bar and it freaking rips. So uh, they do make a 20 volt chainsaw i think it's got a 12 inch bar i had it i gave it to my mother-in-law it's a little bit too small for me um, but just check out this thing man this is like a what would you say seven eight inch limb let's get a little undercut on it the tree is dying but this is not rotted. I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to get some cool wood out of it. I don't know. I'm just gonna run this saw until this battery dies. And I'm hoping I can get all this cut down and then we'll process the pieces to smaller pieces down in the ground with the Milwaukee. You know, one of the things that uh, I feel like the battery powered saws do is they make you feel more comfortable. You don't have this loud motor going on. Like I told you before, I gave the 20 volt DeWalt to my mother-in-law. She loves that thing, man. And even though it's a chainsaw, it's dangerous. You gotta respect it. You, you feel more comfortable when you don't have this motor just running all the time. You can really push this thing too. Now, just as a reference, guys, we got all this cut up to this point. We've got one bar missing at this point, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this top. I left these big pieces over here, and I've got a little uh, notch out here, so it should go that way. That was it, dude. 
Yep, yeah, that was it right there. Let's go, wood, baby! <laughs> There's thousands of dollars right here, man. This is where you really start to eat up battery. And this is where, you know, gas power doesn't leave you hanging ever. But so far it's doing pretty good. So this cut alone, just cutting through, this guy has eaten up a full bar on the nine or the 12 amp hour Milwaukee battery, which honestly that's probably to be expected. This is a pretty demanding cut. Oh yeah. Dang. That's pretty darn uh, impressive. This saw, these saws are working just as you would want if you were either a homeowner or a professional, really, and you didn't want to get out a gas saw or deal with gas. It's definitely, we're still on the first battery here. All right, here we go. Ooh, baby. Well, that's it for the tree. I mean, that's the hard part. So we're gonna get the boom lift out of here. We're gonna go grab the Kubota Mini X. This is a perfect application with that hydraulic thumb. We'll just go ahead, pick all these pieces up and I got my trailer right here. We'll go ahead and load it up. Bro, you do know that we're not picking this up by hand, right? I got the Mini X, Kubota. Oh, hydraulic thumb, dude. Let's work smarter, not harder. Hey, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Bro, give me a break. You think we need to? I mean, just to make space. Dude, how about that, guys? Kubota Mini X for the win. That's a four ton machine. And you guys have already seen me review this or at least uh, talk about it. If you haven't, I did a video on this. I am partnered with Kubota. So they, believe it or not, sent me this machine to use. <laughs> I am super blessed. And Greg probably wishes he got to use it more. And I think I'll let him play with it a little bit. But uh, I got the big main stump or trunk over on the trailer. We're gonna get all this little stuff cleaned up and then we'll see, we'll see if we can drop this last section of a uh, tree here with what's left on that Milwaukee battery. If I can do that, that would mean one battery in each one of those uh, saws, those uh, chainsaws to drop this whole tree and get it out of here. That would be amazing.
Man, it sure makes it so much easier <laughs> using a machine, I gotta say. And having Greg out here. Hey, you wanna try and load some? Make sure you put your seatbelt on. That's first thing, it's very important. There you go. Yep. So I have not been able to use the Kubota um, compact excavator nearly as much as I'd like to. So anytime I can get some seat tying a minute, you bet I'm gonna do that. Uh, but I also wanted to say, you know, with these cordless battery powered chainsaws, you know, the lack of a motor, it's great. No, by no means am I saying that it's as good as a, you know, a gas powered one. It might be as good in the moment, but over a course and a period of time, clearly gas is gonna run longer and give you that you know, almost infinite supply with just pouring some more fuel in. If you got a lot of batteries, we just took this tree down here and we haven't even used both of our batteries in both of our units. So that's pretty impressive. Um, if you're gonna go and work out in a forest, obviously you need more than one battery. You're just gonna use gas, it makes more sense. I just am impressed with how good a battery does do and these are the same batteries we're using in our saws and our drills so if you're you know already in a platform it just makes sense bro what am i doing i gotta move this mini excavator out of the way There you go. Gonna have to switch over to a second battery. Where'd you find this at? Uh, in the, in the, you're in the wash box. That's not good. This has never been probably charged in, since it's been born. It'll go. Hard to believe that that little bit was holding it up. All right, I was trying to cut through this log here. This is the last section that we gotta take care of. We didn't think we could lift it with the Mini X, but I just rolled it over to make the cut, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it out of here with the Mini. This is a four ton machine. I don't know what this weighs, but it's a lot, so let's just see what happens. I would love for this thing to lift it up. Greg says it can't do it. I say, I don't think it will either, but I'm gonna try. What's the worst that can happen, dude? Break something. Break something? Oh, not a Kubota, man. Let's give it a go. Seat belt, check. Holy crap. Did I take some dirt with it? What do you think? Where are you go with it? Uh, I don't know where I can go with it, dude. Other than when the trailer comes back, we can put it on the trailer. Yeah. Let's do that.
Huh, that wasn't too bad, really. Lifting that up. No. Well, I gotta say, guys, if you were at all doubtful about how good a battery powered chainsaw could be, I hope this video answered that question. These have been out now for a little while. I know a lot of people have gotten them, and everybody I talk to says, you know, it's not a 100% replacement for a gas chainsaw, but it's amazing how good it works. Listen, I just cut down this, I don't know, three foot, 32 inch diameter tree. Yes, there was a little bit of center rot, but for the most part, it was still intact and I did it with one DeWalt nine amp hour battery, one full 12 amp hour battery. Greg did bring me a, a nine amp hour from the shed that had one bar left on it and I used it while he went and got another 12 amp hour and this second 12 amp hour battery has three bars left out of four. So that's amazing. I genuinely think like, I haven't used my steel chainsaw in probably two years now since I got one of these and I don't think I'll ever use it. In fact, I'd probably sell it to the first person that wanted it, um, or I'll give it to somebody that needs one for now. But uh, hopefully this video was helpful to someone out there, you know, maybe that was on the fence about battery powered chainsaws or battery powered tools, man. These things are taking over the industry as far as getting rid of cords, getting rid of fuel. And obviously there's always a place for fuel for cords, but you could do a heck of a lot with batteries these days. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry about the wind. It started to get pretty windy here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a odd break from building and just some tool talk and a good old fashioned, you know, tree removal. So I'm not a professional. I should have had chaps on probably. That's my risk, I get it. So if you're gonna go out and use a chainsaw guys, take safety seriously. And if you're comfortable, do what you feel is right in that moment, looking back, I should have put chaps on. I actually had them in the shed too. So you guys have a good one. I'm gonna get out of here.